Recently, the Nyan Cat NFT sold for $600,000. Cyberpunk NFTs were given out for free but are now worth an average of $49,000 each. When Bored Ape Yacht Club released their NFTs, they only cost 0.08 of Ethereum, but now they're worth a minimum of 40 Ethereum, a growth of over 50,000%. The famous rapper and artist Jay-Z put an NFT he had purchased for $126,000 as his Twitter handle. That NFT is now worth $217,000. The digital artwork entitled Every Days, the first 5,000 days by artist Michael Winkleman, also known as Beeple, sold for $69.3 million in 2021, resulting in the third highest auction price ever achieved for a living artist. The good news is that you don't have to be Jay-Z or some billionaire millionaire to make money with NFTs. But first, what are NFTs and how can you make money from them fast? We are going to cover all of that in today's video. This video is perfect if you are a beginner, don't know much about cryptos and NFTs, want to get started quickly in 15 minutes or less, and don't want to compete with big spenders or whales. And as an added bonus, I will show you a secret technique that will help you quickly and easily see which NFTs are worth your time and which aren't. If this interests you, please smash the like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. In today's video, we are going to cover what are NFTs, how do they work, and what makes them special. How to buy NFTs, how to sell NFTs, how to find super rare NFTs that might be super valuable one day. Plus, I will show you a special technique to find super quality NFTs before everyone else. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what exactly are NFTs. So NFT stands for a non-fungible token. And what that essentially means is that it's unique. If you think about what fungible means, fungible is something like money, like US dollars, euros, or any other currency. They're freely exchangeable one for another. Another thing that's fungible is something like gold or silver. We know exactly how much it's worth. We know exactly how much we can exchange it for. We know exactly what we can do with it. Non-fungible is something that you cannot really exchange. So maybe something like a car with some custom mods or maybe a unique car, maybe a collectible car where there were only you know 50 of them made or 500 of them made. Something that's mass produced that's in stock configuration where there are no changes, where you know everything about it, that's pretty much fungible because you know exactly what the car has, you know how many miles it has. It has nothing that's gonna be of interest to somebody that's a collector and therefore it's fungible. So something that's non-fungible is fairly unique and that's really the premise of NFTs is that I can go out and I can mint something that has some unique properties or unique characteristics. Now, the next thing I wanna cover is why would somebody be interested in NFTs? Well, the reason somebody would be interested in NFTs is the same thing that people buy anything that's of value, anything that could be of interest to a collector, something like baseball cards, which is something that I collected long, long time ago back in the day, but it could be just about anything. Maybe this is, you know, the first album of a, uh, a really successful musician. Maybe this is a signed copy of Steve Jobs' autobiography. Maybe this is a signed um, copy of, uh, you know, some kind of a, a baseball card of a very, very successful player. Maybe this is a successful basketball player. There's something truly unique about it. And that's really the premise of NFTs. And so you can essentially mint this NFT, you can purchase it, you can sell it, and everything that's happening is secured by the blockchain, okay? So if you're not aware of what exactly is a blockchain, essentially it's a ledger that's cryptographically secured so it cannot really be tampered with. So let's say you sell me something, I buy it, then I sell it to somebody else. All of those transactions are inside this ledger and they cannot be tampered with. Uh, unlike something that's written on a piece of paper where somebody can copy it, they can forge it, they can you know change things around. You really cannot do that when it's cryptographically secured by a cryptocurrency. In, in this case, this is the Ethereum blockchain, but they can also be built on just about anything. And this makes them a lot more secure. And you know that if you buy something, 
and you spend real money for it, uh, it's going to be secured. So it's not going to be tampered with. And this gives it more value than if it wasn't secure. If people thought, okay, they, it could be possibly tampered with, it wouldn't be as valuable as opposed to something that really is very, 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 very difficult to tamper with. And so now that you have kind of a base in terms of what are NFTs, why they're so valuable, let's talk about the process of how you can actually purchase them and actually make money with them. And so the first thing that you need to do is you need a wallet. Now there are lots of wallets out there, but the wallet that I recommend, which makes the process very, very easy, is called MetaMask. And here I'm using a Chrome-based browser and it actually has a plug. And so you can just Google for MetaMask Chrome plugin I already have it set up. You're gonna you're gonna have a button that says something like add to Chrome. And once you do that, you're gonna have this thing here. And once you click on it, uh, it has this thing here. Now it's locked, I have to enter my password. But once I unlock it, as I am browsing the web, as I'm looking at different NFTs to purchase or to sell, this wallet is gonna automatically connect to the proper networks, to the marketplaces and things like that. So as soon as you have this wallet installed, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna click on this and you wanna click on buy. You wanna buy some cryptocurrency. You wanna go out and you wanna buy some Ethereum because you need some Ethereum in order to purchase these NFTs and kind of play in the market. So once you click here, you have a couple of options here, right? You have this one here, you have this one. And so it really depends on what's available in your specific location. You can use Transac, which is available in 59 plus countries, or you can just use Wire. Wire lets you use a debit card to deposit Ethereum right into your MetaMask account. So if you want something simple, you can just click on here. It's gonna lead you to a page where you can enter your bank details and it's all gonna be secure and you'll be able to transfer some money into your Ethereum wallet and it's gonna get converted into Ethereum obviously at the exchange rate. Now you might be wondering how much money you need in order to get started. I recommend at least $100. So somewhere between $100 to $200 is the absolute minimum that you should be depositing into your account to get started. And the reason for that is that first of all, you need to buy the actual NFT. But second of all, there's something called gas gas fees these are your transaction fees and these vary from time to time depending on the network load and a bunch of other factors so in addition to actually spending uh, the actual money to buy the nfts you also need to be spending something called the commission and you can simply go to this website called gasnow.org and you can take a look at different gas prices so as you can see for rapid it's 49 dollars, which is the commission you pay 15 seconds something that's fast 44 dollars, one minute three minutes and greater than 10 minutes which is 43 dollars. now these are fairly high these are fairly high. So if you can wait some time for, again, for them to go lower, uh, you're going to have more success. And here you can look at your historical prices. So, you know, if you can get something in the lower range, uh, it's going to be definitely preferred than something as high as, you know, 540, 516, 515. So you can kind of monitor these and see if it, if it goes down. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to save a bunch of money. And so now that you understand how to actually fund your wallet and you understand the commissions and all that, let's talk about the actual marketplaces where you can go out and buy some NFT. So there are several marketplaces. The first marketplace is called Rarible. This is rarible.com and you can go and you can browse by uh, item, by collection. You can see, and these NFTs, they're not just one NFT they typically exist as part of a collection. So for instance, this is a very, very popular Mutant Ape Yacht Club. This is a very, very popular NFT and you can browse around here and you can go out and you can purchase them if you want. So take a look at this one. So for instance, let's say you want something like this. This one caught your attention. You can click on it and you can see various properties, right? These are the properties. And the thing about the properties is that every, every single NFT has various properties, but the properties really determine the scarcity of the NFT. So if you're seeing the mouth is M1 board unshaven, the fur dark brown, background is new punk blue, eyes are sad, clothes are black tea. The combination of these properties determines how scarce, the more scarce it is, the more money it's going to command. So this is something you can take a look. So right now you can buy it for 12 
Ethereum, 11.9 Ethereum. And as you can see, 11.9 Ethereum is $47,000. So that's a fairly expensive NFT. You can browse around, you can come back, you can take a look at another one. These are all fairly expensive, right? 14, uh, 14 Ethereum, that's even more. 22 Ethereum, these are fairly expensive. Another marketplace that I recommend is OpenSea.io. This is actually one of my favorite marketplaces because it's really easy to see what is happening, uh, what are some of the new NFTs that are coming on the market. Uh, you can look at some of their characteristics, the percentage of their characteristics, and things like that. So for instance, we can go to a marketplace and we can take a look at all NFTs. We can see all the NFTs that are selling and we can see the price, we can see all of that. We can see if it's a buy now, if it's an auction structure. And buy now is kind of like eBay, right? It's selling. You can either buy it or you, you, you don't have to do anything. But an auction, you can bid on it. So if you're not the highest bidder, you don't have to pay for it. You're not going to win. So you can bid on it. But if you end up as the highest bidder, you can actually, you'll have to pay for it and you'll have to go through with the transaction. So on this page, we are looking at different NFTs. But what I like about this marketplace is we can go to stats and we can go into rankings and we can see exactly what is happening on some of the more uh, expensive collections. So this CryptoPunks, this collection, they were minted and they were given away for free several years ago, but now they're extremely expensive, right? If you take a look at this collection and you take a look at some of them, we have 22 Ethereum, 25 Ethereum, 30 Ethereum. And actually the famous rapper and artist Jay-Z purchased one of these NFTs and he actually put it as his Twitter avatar. So it's kind of like for status. So everybody can see that he has a very, very expensive NFT. And so what I really like about this specific website is that we can go to stats, we can go to rankings and we can see what's happening here. So for instance, you can, you can click on this mutant uh, ape yacht club. And this is also obviously on the secondary market. You're not one of the first buyers because there are people selling it. And what you can do is you can take a look. So for instance, I can click on it and I can click on properties and I can see their characteristics. So take a look at this one. The fur, 1% have this trade, this gray, gray fur, uh, bandana, bandana, right? It's 0.19% have this trade, board unshaven, 4%, 2%, half a percent, three percent. So this is a fairly rare NFT, it's a fairly rare, so it has a minimum bid of eight Ethereum, which is $31,000. And you can place a bid and you can, hopefully you can buy it. The sale ends in 26 days. It's owned by this person and they're selling it, right? Now, one thing it's important to understand about NFTs right away is that it's not like you're buying Bitcoin, right? So let's say I buy like a Bitcoin, it goes up, it goes down. I can always liquidate it. I can always get rid of it. With NFTs, it doesn't work like that. You can buy an NFT, but it doesn't mean you'll sell it, right? Maybe there's not gonna be any buyers. Maybe you buy something and then the market moves on. Uh, people are chasing some, you know, a brand new shiny object and nobody's interested in that collection anymore. So that is something you have to understand. Very, very important. NFTs are a little different than uh, a fungible currency, like, like a dollar or like Bitcoin or something to that extent. This might not even have some demand. So you can buy it and then nobody will, will buy it. And so when you purchase it once and then when you try to sell it, people might not be interested in actually purchasing it, right? And that's just the reality of it. So for instance, somebody wants to sell it for eight Ethereum, might not get any bids. And so you'll have to sell. It's kind of like buying a house or buying some kind of property. There's never a guarantee that you might be able to sell it for that same price or you'll be able to make even money. You might you might lose some money. That is an important thing to understand. Another thing that you that I want to bring to your attention is a site called Mintable. And this is a place where you can essentially mint NFTs. You can actually create your own NFTs. And that's uh, another thing altogether. Really, you can take anything, right? You can take, uh, I can take the screenshot and I can turn it in, into an NFT. I can create a video and I can turn it into a, an NFT. I can create some kind of piece of art and I can turn it into an NFT and then try to sell it to, you know, people maybe watching this video or I can, you know, advertise it on my social media channels, etc., etc. So maybe that is another option that is available for you to pursue. But today I really want to emphasize how you can go out and find cheap NFTs to purchase, NFTs that are not yet out publicly and then sell them for a lot higher price. And the best site in order to figure out some of the upcoming NFTs before they're released out in the market is called Rarity dot tools 
So you can essentially go to the site and you can see the collections that are about to be minted in the future. And you can be one of the first people that will get this newly minted NFT that you can go out later and sell at a higher price or maybe hold on to it and sell it later. And this is a great, great site. So here I am at rarity.tools. What you want to do is you want to click on upcoming and here you're going to see upcoming NFT sales. Okay. And so what I really like about this site is that you have these various collections from various artists. And the collection that I want to show you is called broadcasters. This is a great collection. So for instance, we have their discord channel, we have their Twitter handle, and we have their website. It makes things very, very easy to see. And you also have some price and supply. You have sale date and time. You have to be announced, etc., etc. So we're going to open their website right here and we're going to get a better idea of uh, their project. We want to understand what's the project about. We want to understand if they're committed to it and we want to see when it's going to be released to the initial uh, buyers. So you can unravel the most vintage collection of generated NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. And so you can click on about, you can learn a little bit more, uh, you can click on price. So this is going to be the initial price, 0.04 Ethereum. So if you convert 0.04 Ethereum to dollars, you're going to have about $160, which is a lot better than buying an NFT for like $30,000 or $50,000 or whatever those prices are. And so this is a nice strategy. And so you can click on buy here and it will tell you and, and, all, and right away my uh, MetaMask wallet pops up. And so unfortunately, sale has not started yet, right? So it says here, buy early broadcaster comments, what you get, and then later on, you can sell them on the secondary market, hopefully for a nice profit. So let's talk about this. Let's see how we can pick some of these uh, collections and how we can judge whether the collection is gonna be successful or not, how we can see what's happening. So what I recommend doing is there's a couple of things you want to do. You want to go to their Twitter account and you want to understand if this Twitter account actually has some weight behind it. So this thing has 4,000 plus followers, which is a good amount. They just joined in April 2021. And I actually think this is a really, really cool collection. I might be buying, I might be actually, you know, be interested in buying them myself. So it says here, the last and final EBC drop at 9 p.m. tonight sales supply 234 bringing a total of 500 555 ebc mint passes you can mint here 4.111 floor price is 0.45 right that's the minimum price that you can mint it so you can essentially be the owner of the first minted so you can actually buy it just when it comes out which is awesome so you want to read about their community you want to see you want to see if there is actual action you want to be looking if there's action, if there are things happening in their community, because anybody can go out and start their own collection. You want to see if there is actually a community behind it, which is very, very important. So I like that they have followers. I like that. The next thing I want to do is I, wa I want to open their Discord channel. So we're going to go inside their Discord. We're going to accept their invite. It's opening their, uh, their app here. And so here I am in the Discord channel and I want to see, okay, there are a couple of admins. Uh, I want to see there are a couple of community manager. I want to see the advisors. I want to see that people are there. I want to see that they have a very lively community because this NFT is not going to be worth anything if there's nobody behind it, if the people are not behind it. So Twitter followers are very important. I want to see that they have action. I want to see that they're getting likes, retweets. And the other thing you have to pay attention to, if this number is too high, remember they just joined uh, in April of 2021. And let's say they have, you know, 20,000 followers, 30, thousand followers that's going to be a little suspect if they did not get you know very very high recognition and typically they would not so four thousand followers is a good number and that's that's a legit number and that's what i want to do and the next thing i want to do is i want to take a look at their uh website i want to take a look at their discord channel and i want to take a look okay are these legit right so it says here seven thousand seven hundred and seven arts randomly assembled from over 300 trades last ebc mint pass sell this friday don't miss out right this is the price that which is a very very competitive price there's only going to be this amount and so if you buy one and assuming it's going to have some rare trades 
uh, it's going to be worth a lot more than 0.04 Ethereum, right? And so on this site, you can browse lots of different collections of NFTs and you can kind of understand, right? Now, what you want to be looking for is certainly you want to see if you like them, right? Because you have to understand there's going to be a lot of trash there as well. It's not going to be all hits. It's not going to be all home runs. So you're going to find a lot of trash because anybody can go out and start a community and, you know, create a community around it to, to mint different NFTs. Anybody can do it. The key here is in the community. The key here is in understanding that people are behind it, that they have followers, they have movement. Let's say, uh, how about, let's say we want to take a look at this one, Pixel Pixel Snakes, 0.02 Ethereum, and that's only $79, which is very, very competitive. We're going to go in here and we're going to open up their Twitter. Let's take a look. One, so they join of July 2021, which is fairly recently, and only have, you know, 1.3 thousand followers, which is fine, which is absolutely normal. It's not a lot. They don't have, you know, 50,000 followers. They don't even have 5,000 followers. It's a good number. And it says here, launch is live. Get your Pixel Snakes here at 0.02 Ethereum with one of max, etc., or 15 at a time. And this is something they're trying, right? It's going to have different um, characteristics. Some are going to be rarer than others, right? This is something you have to understand. And in my opinion, this is something you want to take a look. So maybe you'll buy an NFT here. Uh, you'll buy an NFT there. And when you're ready to purchase, all you have to do is go to the website they're telling you, right? They're going to have purchase one here, mint one here. So you can go in here. You can go to, you, you can get your mint pass here and right away, it's telling me, right, I can start, I can go out and purchase it as soon as it becomes available, right? This was actually for a different Twitter account. If you go back to this Twitter account and we go up, it's going to go in here. Here's the URL. We load up that URL. It says connect wallet. That is what you want to do. You want to click on connect wallet here. And then this wallet is going to connect with my wallet. And that way you'll be able to make a transaction very, very easily. And so it's asking me, do I have a MetaMask or do I want to connect using Wallet Connect? So I'm going to click on MetaMask here and my wallet opens up. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to say connect and now it's connected. I'm going to say connect and now my wallet is connected. They have 5,191 available out of 5,293. I can mint it. I can click on mint. It's going to go to mint and my wallet pops up and it wants 0 0.02 Ethereum, which is, which is around $80. And it's telling me insufficient funds. That is because I have not funded this specific wallet. But if I had the funds, I, I can go out and purchase it. Remember, there's also going to be a gas fee which is the commission fee, depending on uh, the market rates and all of that. So if you combine it with the commission fee, you are going to go out and you'll be able to mint this specific NFC before it actually went on the market, before it actually went on one of these sites, such as Rarible, OpenSea, or any of the other markets that's out there. And like you see, this thing is selling for $31,000 plus, dollars, which is a lot higher than you can get a brand new one. You can mint a brand new one that has just been released. And that is exactly how you buy low and hopefully sell high is that you're trying to get into the community. You're trying to understand if they're going to have a viable future. And to do that, you have to see if there are people behind it, if there is activity, if there is some action hustle and tussle, things are happening, things are moving forward. And if you go to the discord channel, it, whether People are actually participating. The admins are helping out. You know, people are asking questions. People are answering questions. There's movement, there's action, and people are actually interested in making a community of a success. Now, once you see that, that might be a good sign combined with a low price that this could perhaps be a good investment in the future. But like I said, there is no guarantee you might purchase a newly minted NF NFT, but then you won't be able to sell it. It all depends if there's going to be demand on the secondary markets in some of these marketplaces or not. But that is the way you do it. And NFTs are a brand new thing. They're just getting started. And so if you want to learn how they work, nothing is better than trying out, buying a couple of NFTs there. Nothing is better than experience. And it's much better to get started using this method because you won't need to spend a lot of money. You can spend a couple of bucks here and there just to see if you'll be able to sell them later on and get some valuable experience. Now, after you gain this valuable experience, you can go out and you can try spending more money for some of the more expensive NFTs. And this is exactly how you make money with NFTs. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would highly appreciate a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment with your 
questions or concerns and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already.